Coach, if you just want to start with an opening statement, then we'll open up to questions. Sure. Um, you know, you've got to give a lot of credit to Kentucky. Obviously, uh, very talented, well coached, terrific guards. We knew coming in here this was going to be a tremendous challenge uh, for us. But it was a challenge uh, that we were excited about. And, uh, you know, I thought uh, we really would challenge them. I wasn't expecting us to shoot one for 14 from the three-point line and, and miss as many free throws as we did in the first half. But uh, the one thing you can't do preparing for Kentucky, at least we can, is simulate their length and their athleticism. You, you can't do it. I mean, Wills is playing the small forward. He's bigger than my center. You know, he's legit 6'10 and uh, skilled, good basketball player. Um, you know, they're good. I said it uh, to everybody that I talked to before the game. Tyler Ulis is the best point guard in the country. Scala Visserado wanted one or two in the NBA draft, and Jamal Murray's the best basketball player in the country. You know, nothing that happened tonight changes my mind. So, you know, they're going to have another great year, and, you know, we're just hoping to, uh, you know, to compete for an opportunity to go to a fourth straight uh, NCAA tournament out of the American East Conference. Uh, Coach, Derek Willis had a, a big first half for them. How, how prominent was he in the game plan and all that? Well, I mean, it's hard. There's only so many pros you can prepare for. You know, I mean, uh, you know, what are, what are we going to do? You've got to pick your poison. Uh, you know, we were going to try our best to neutralize Euless Murray and Leviserae as much as possible. You know, Wills did a good job. Uh, he's getting an opportunity. It's not that he's not a really good basketball player. It's just that he's had plenty of lottery picks ahead of him. You know, now it's his turn and his opportunity, and I'm sure he'll take advantage of it. Uh, the thing with him is he's very versatile. So when he plays the power, <coughs> power forward uh, spot for him, we've got our power forwards have to chase him on the perimeter. And when he's playing a small forward spot, you've got a 6'10 small forward out there. So, you know, I think against regular teams at our level, a lot of those baskets in the lane we're getting. The problem is, uh, you know, they've got guys that are taking turns, blocking our shots, and, uh, you know, Wills is a long-rangey guy. When they play him at the small forward, you know, they're big. You called Jamal Murray the best basketball player in the country. What did you make of what you saw from him tonight, in particular the way he took over? I was on cruise control. He was hanging out, picking his spots. You know, he's, a, in my opinion, uh, he's a combination of a few basketball people, Mark Jackson and Andre Miller with a jump shot. Plays at a great pace, great feel, great size. He can post up, he can score from all three levels. Uh, he's really, really good. You know, I hope I can get a guy like that this upcoming August. I've got Aussies, I'll take Humphreys. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, uh, he's really good. And I think uh, he's a guy that in tight spots for them this year, I don't know the team like Coach Cap. I think he's gonna take and make big shots for them all year long. Coach, how, how well did you guys keep them out of transition for much of the night? And what does it say that you know they still were performing? Very well? The problem is they just wear you down. Length, athleticism. Um, you know, I don't know if they're going to play that way the entire year, but I would imagine against the non-BCS schools, they're going to go for that knockout punch early and often, and uh, you know try to sustain that pressure. The problem is when you turn the ball over against them, they make you pay. And then for us, we got to the rim a couple of times, and, and, and we just, our guys had good looks. They just blocked them, and that led to transition opportunities, you know, for them as well. So, you know, we did not play well. I thought we competed well. We did not play well. I mean, one for 14 for three, you know, we're a good shooting basketball team. I think a lot of that had to do with Kentucky rushing us a little bit. Um, you know, we took some quick shots that maybe we ordinarily wouldn't take. But you got to give a lot of that credit to Kentucky. Any questions for the players? All right, you guys did a great job, you two players. <laughs> <laughs>